Boom, an update on the Cebu quake that just slammed the Philippines ain't your cozy bedtime story. It's seismic chaos. At 9.59 p.m. Philippine time on September 30th of 2025, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake ripped through waters off northern Cebu, epicenter about 19 kilometers northeast of Bogo City at a shallow depth of around 5 kilometers. Shallow quake plus proximity equals disaster waiting to happen. The death toll? It's grim. Around 70 people lost their lives. Injuries? 559 confirmed. Broken bones, crushed limbs, trauma everywhere. Buildings? Ruined. Heritage churches like Don Bantayan Church saw 70 to 80% of their structure collapse. Infrastructure damage is bonkers. Thousands of homes damaged or destroyed. Bridges cracked or collapsed. Schools turned into rubble. Power went kaput. Over 800,000 consumers across 309 municipalities lost electricity. More than 722 aftershocks have been recorded, ranging from magnitude 1.4 up to 4.8, and that's in just a few days. It's like a giant bucking bronco that never lets you off. Now, you might be thinking this is just one quake among many. Nope. This one is the deadliest earthquake in the Philippines since 2013. Listen, the shaking was brutal. Let me break this down with a blunt analogy. Imagine your house built on jello and someone hits it with a wrecking ball. That's what happened under Cebu. No fancy cutesy metaphor can sugarcoat it. Why was this quake such a beast? Because shallow quakes transmit energy more violently to the surface. That, plus the epicenter being so close to populated towns, that's geology kicking you in the guts and you thanking it and asking for another. What complicates rescue? Rain, power outages, ongoing aftershocks, inaccessible roads, debris everywhere. It's a nightmare zone. Hospitals are overwhelmed, patients spilled into tents, staff working around the clock. It's not fair. It sucks. And it's impossible for someone doom-scrolling YouTube on their phone to truly understand. This quake is real. The devastation is real. The suffering is real. But so is the resilience. Volunteers search and rescue teams, medical units, all mobilized. Aid is pouring in. Stay alert, stay informed, and get ready to act and help if you can, because nature does not care about your schedule.